Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cardinals Franchise. It is apparently Thanksgiving week here in the NFL. Not for me though, uh, the Arizona Cardinals are not playing a Thanksgiving game. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time the Cardinals played a Thanksgiving game. But we are playing the Minnesota Vikings who in real life, let's just say in real life, the Minnesota Vikings probably have had the worst offseason known to man. But we'll get more into that when we get into our game. Never mind. See here, scouting, focus players, select prospects for additional game film review by your scouts. Oh, I haven't even looked at the draft class yet, so I guess this is the first time we're going to look at the draft class. We currently have pick 32 right now, so it's not like we're going to be drafting anyone special, so I don't see any point in us trying to do some of these top guys. This D-tackle here could be interesting. A power move, only C finesse move, and C block shedding isn't the best in the world this left tackle looks like he could be really good jabril peck the thing is, is we already have a left tackle we we're typically we're really needing right tackle but center and guard are the biggest things for us here but jabril peck could go into interior so maybe i will scout him it looks like he could be pretty good so looking at this draft class it's weird because i swear I thought that wide receiver was supposed to be like the big part of this draft class, right? This wide receiver draft class sucks. Oh my god, this wide receiver draft class isn't good. This guy looks like he's a freak at catching the ball, but has no speed at all. Diveer Davis here. But, I mean, look at these wide receivers here. Look at the number one wide receiver. Like, look at some of these guys. Some of these guys just suck. There's no wide receiver here worth even scouting at all. Or, like, the good wide receivers even have some F thing in them. Let's look at Matt Winters here in the slot. Maybe if he has elite speed. Damn, his speed even sucks, dude. At least he's got elite change of direction, but it's like all these wide receivers are just ass. Oh, this top center already has two really good traits might as well scout out this top center as well damn dude the center class sucks only four centers projected to be drafted at all and damn this guard class is terrible maybe bj stellar we will do as well i know we're doing all offensive line but i'm cool with that so we're doing a left tackle a center and a right guard as my scouts because I'm trying to do reasonable guys that we actually have a shot at getting, not like just the top first round talents. And now it's time to go to our weekly strategy here. We will continue doing our strategy of just half pads and starters so that nobody gets hurt in the training. Let's see, and I just easily got gold with all of my guys there. Now it's time just to quickly set up my challenges like you know i usually love to do here and now we got a couple of starters that could use some upgrades ray mcbride being one of them is nice getting him to an 84 overall harris johnson jr also getting another skill point is very appealing he now goes to a 79 i think he started off the season as a 77 he gives plus one in a ton of stats very sexy from paris johnson jr and now clayton tune we will just let madden do whatever they want to do with clayton tune and now, finally, the final thing we're going to do before getting into our game against the Vikings is actually scout them out a little bit and look at this Vikings roster here. Obviously, Justin Jefferson is a 99 overall. He is an absolute beast. Their quarterback is J.J. McCarthy, who is currently playing up to a 77 overall. In real life, J.J. McCar McCarthy suffered a season-ending injury and won't play a single snap as a rookie. They have Aaron Jones as a backup, who's a pretty solid running back. Then we know about Justin Jefferson, but Jordan Addison's also really good as well. Jamal Agnew's also a solid number three for them. And then TJ Hawkinson at tight end is a beast. Their offensive line is also really good with Christian Derisaw, Dalton Reisner, Bradbury, Ingham, and Brian O'Neill. This is a Vikings team that has a very solid offense. And then their defense actually... Damn, I didn't realize that their defense actually was this good on paper. Holy shit. This Vikings team is actually a lot better than I thought they were. And now, here we go into our game. 11-0 11 
We only have six games left. We've basically already made the playoffs. Right now, I'm just basically fighting for to be the first overall. I think the I think uh, three losses, if I'm not mistaken, is currently the next best after me. But literally just losing one game shifts all the momentum. Like It doesn't matter that I'm perfect. I can just lose one game and then all my momentum is gone. So we kick the ball off first, the Vikings here. And thankfully, Thomas is able to make a tackle there. That could have been really bad. And now JJ McCarthy trots onto the field with the likes of Justin Jefferson, TJ Hawkinson, and Jordan Addison. This is just an absolutely broken offense, and they got a good offensive line, too. Well, they're running it with Aaron Jones on the first play, and Aaron Jones is able to pick up seven yards there. I have the second best rushing defense in the league. I only average 42 rushing yards per game, and in the entire season, I've only allowed, I believe, like 500 rushing yards in 11 games, so our rushing defense is spectacular. But that doesn't mean that it can't just end on a dime. And now J.J. McCarthy is actually going to get a big run here. And now in two plays, the Minnesota Vikings already have 17 rushing yards. So this high-powered rushing defense I've been talking about is right now getting put up to the test. That's a good tackle by Buda Baker. You know what? They only pick up five yards on the play. Did someone get hurt in practice that I don't know about? Why has Barnes been out there twice? Good God, Aaron Jones just picking up so many runs after the catch there. Yeah, why is Barnes out there? Where's Collins? Did Collins somehow get hurt in practice? No, he's blitzing. What the fuck's going on? Why is Collins on the on the line blitzing? What happened to my depth chart? Why is my depth chart fucked up right now? This is pissing me off. Jones is still in the slot. Collins is still my slot wide receiver. What the fuck's going on? Why is Colin blitzing? My depth chart actually isn't fucked up? What's going on here? What is going on here? I better not see Zay Collins on the fucking line again. Thank God. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. I'll be honest with you. I'm incredibly stuffed. And Justin Jefferson just went an incredible route. Max Melton is able to make the tackle though. But right now the Vikings are just kind of having their way with me. Just driving down the field. It's not very appealing. But I think our defense is going to get a clutch interception here. Just knowing my defense, it's what they do. I'm at least all over that with Kaiser White. They only pick up three yards on the pass to Jordan Addison there. And now we're going to send a little blitz here. Give J.J. McCarthy some pressure. Budabaker, I'm going to be all over T.J. Hawkinson on this play. No, I'm not. That's cap. Oh, my God. I thought Sean, Sean Murphy Bunting could have gotten an interception there. That looked like Sean Murphy Bunting could have easily gotten a pick. Am I wrong on this? Oh, Jordan Addison kind of body blocks him, and JJ and Sean Murphy isn't able to get a good route there. Sean Murphy just needs one more interception until he reaches double-digit interceptions, which is something a lot of players are not able to achieve in their career. So if Sean Murphy Bunting could do that, that would be awesome. And Jordan Addison is able just to find a area right in my zone offense there, or zone defense, and um, pick up a first down. Now, the Vikings have first and goal from the eight-yard line, but I have a really good... I was going to say I have a really good goal line defense, but uh, Justin Jefferson scores the touchdown and then gritties on us, and the Minnesota Vikings just marched down the field and uh, made me kind of look silly. 10 plays, 72 yards, 4 minutes. Not, a, not good. All right, we'll just let this go into the end zone. Damn it, did land in the landing zone. That's stupid. All right, well, I messed up. I should have taken it. And let's see, as you can hear, that Minnesota Vikings crowd is absolutely roaring right now. And we are going to, going to need to answer back. Please be defensive pass interference. That deserves to be defensive pass interference. Thank you. Marvin Harrison Jr. would have been wide open on that slant route there, but they had to hold me up there. And Marvin Harrison Jr. is pissed off. We will let him take the wide receiver screen on this play. This usually works out pretty well here for Marvin Harrison Jr. Just with his elite speed and change of direction. And oh my god, yeah, Marvin Harrison Jr.'s got blockers. He's got help. Marvin Harrison Jr. is able to pick up 13 on the wide receiver screen there. And now with no James Conner, Trey Benson is going to have to take over as our primary running back, which I'm not opposed to. I think he was primed to, and I think he's ready to. 
only gets three yards on the first rush for us, but last week Trey Benson had his first 100-yard rushing game, and he also got a touchdown on top of that. I am looking forward to seeing what Trey Benson can continue to do as the number one running back of this offense. And now on this play, it's going to be Marvin Harrison Jr. that gets the football, and he's going to have a ton of space to run as well and pick up a first down. Now, this play definitely looks like an interesting play, that's for sure. We'll see if Trey McBride actually is open on this play. He he is? Oh my god, Trey McBride is just... Oh my god, is Trey McBride going to be in for a touchdown? He is! Touchdown, Trey McBride! Holy shit, that play actually worked out to perfection. And Trey McBride just got a sexy touchdown there for me. Holy crap. I didn't think that was going to work, but it did. And in four plays, we drive 80 yards down the field and score a touchdown, and we immediately answer back. What a play from Trey McBride there. Now this game is all tied up, 7-7. Seven seven. The Vikings are probably going to run if I had to guess. Oh my god, I'm not going to run this defense anymore. This is such a stupid defense. Why is Zade calling on, Collins on the edge? All right, I don't think Collins is on the edge, thank god. Here we are, second and seven. Oh my god, the Vikings are handing the ball off to Aaron Jones, and we stuff him immediately. Who's number two? That's got to be... Victor, I'm thinking, and now the Vikings are doing an empty set here. Oh, and I think they jump off sides for a false start, and now the Vikings have put themselves in third and 12. That's already now two penalties for the Vikings this game, and I probably should be using Tom Thompson on Justin Jefferson's side, but oh well. Oh my god, I'm, I'm there with Buda Baker, right? I'm there. I'm whoa, I how, how did we not pick that? How did I not just pick that there with Buda Baker? I, I I understand that I still stopped the play, right? So you should be happy, Cameron. Oh, Buda Baker just drops it. I'm literally there with the interception. Buda Baker just drops the interception. Come on, Buda. Buda Baker just dropping a fucking gift from JJ McCarthy there. And now they punt the ball. We got one man to beat. If we can beat him, we can get some good yardage. We don't. He's able to outspeed us. And that Vikings guy was doing a celebration there, even though he did literally nothing. And now here we are, first and 10, already on the Vikings 20-yard line here. And they're only blitzing a handful here. I don't know what number that guy is. I just have to take off and run with Kyler Murray. There, I saw a wide open guy there, but I didn't know what number he or what like button he was. And I didn't want to risk throwing it to the wrong guy. Now we'll hand it off to Benson on this play. Benson is able to pick up two yards for us. And so far, the running game has unfortunately not been there with Trey Benson. Maybe it could be this play, though. This play has potential for Trey Benson. He's able to get to the outside. Spin inside, Benson. Oh, my God. Benson has such a good spin move. And Trey Benson with a massive run there. And we are now on the Minnesota Vikings 25-yard line. So let, let's just let's see what happens on this play. Okay, he's not open this time, and I get sacked. Andrew Van Ginkle, huh? He's doing that shit to me. Lovely. Now, second and 20, after I just kind of screwed myself there and put myself at a field goal range, we will just run the ball here with Benson. He will be able to cut into the middle. Ooh, if only our center would have had better blocking there, we could have had a big run. But, of course, our center didn't have better blocking there. Why would he? And now here we are, third and 16. If we can get good blocking here, maybe someone will be open. The blocking is terrible, but trick. <sighs> Trey McBride was wide open. Look at when I throw it to Trey McBride right here. Here's when I throw it to Trey McBride, and look at where the ball fucking ends up. Kyler, what are you fucking doing, man? Kyler Murray just has the worst fucking throw on the run. Like, that's his big... Like, in the pocket, Kyler Murray's great. But when I have to throw on the run with Kyler Murray, it just is a fucking shit show sometimes. And now Kyler Murray has thrown an interception. That's absolutely lovely. Oh my god, and Zay Collins again is fucking blitzing, man. Get me out of this stupid-ass fucking formation, dude. We better get an interception on this. We At least Aaron Jones steps out of bounds. 
And now it's third and one. Someone's hurt. That's fucking lovely. Better not be anyone of importance. And now, come on, boys. Make me proud. Third and one. Let's get a stop here. Yeah, that's just... He's just... Aaron Jones is just running an out route there. There's not a whole lot I can do on that play. Oh, they're doing some shit again? Okay. Come on, make a play, Melton. Oh, my God. Vikings are doing some hurry up here. You know, I, I kind of respect it. Oh, my God. Vikings are just doing all these quick passes right now, and it's just... Dude, why the fuck is Zay Collins blitzing? Uh, McCarthy? What the fuck was that? McCarthy? You know, I won't complain. The rookie corner getting his second interception. My slot corner, Jones. But, uh... What the fuck was that? Like, what is McCarthy doing here? I, I, <laughs> my corner's literally standing right in front of him. What a terrible fucking play by JJ McCarthy. And now, come on, dude. I know that was a bad throw. Oh my God, Darius Robinson's hurt. So my entire fucking defensive line's hurt. And so I understand why Collins is now fucking playing on the defensive line, unfortunately. That's really fucking sexy. And now we'll just have to do a screen pass here to Benson, and he drops that, which is probably a good thing, honestly. He would have lost yards. And now we've got to figure something out here on third and ten. Let's see. Third and ten here, we have options. McBride could be open right in the middle of the field. I'm going to get sacked right away. When they're just blitzing four. I didn't have any time to throw there. So what happened? Who allowed that? Of course it was my left guard, dude. All right. This rookie left guard is just straight up ass. I think it's just... It might just be time to cut ties with him, honestly. And even though JJ McCarthy gives us a literal gift, we can't do anything to capitalize on it. And here we are, 7-7. Seven, seven. After having a great opening drive, it's just kind of gone downhill for us. Jesus Christ. I just don't get the zone defense here, man. Why do I got two guys on... I don't know. I, I just don't get it. This has been a very interesting game of Madden for sure. Uh, definitely top top 10. Tom Thompson, don't just fucking stand there, man. Try to go for the football. Jesus Christ. First and 10. Vikings do only have one timeout, thankfully. Um, oh! Okay, at least Jones is able to tackle him pretty soon. Vikings are now just wasting time right now. Zay Collins is the only guy in the middle of the field, which is kind of the only issue. And they're just doing all these fucking out routes, man. Jesus Christ. The Vikings are basically in field goal range. I Like, ba basically, they're literally almost in field goal range here. Oh, Justin Jefferson. Oh my god, Justin Jefferson dropped a pass? Someone just absolutely laid out Jefferson, and he coughed up the football. Man, I've dropped a couple of times now, but that's a big drop from Jefferson, so just both teams are just dropping it here. And Vikings aren't going to drop that one. They call a timeout, though, which could be risky for the Vikings. If they, don't, if they aren't smart here with their clock management, they could run out of time and not even kick out a field goal. JJ McCarthy's scrambling? JJ McCarthy gets absolutely smoked? Will they have time for a field goal? They won't! JJ McCarthy just runs for one yard, gets hit, and the Vikings don't get the field goal unit on. And now it's going into halftime, 7-7. Seven, seven. Two sloppy game, A very sloppy game from both teams here. Both teams started the game off with a touchdown drive. It went 7-7, seven, seven, and since then, it's been very sloppy. For those of you that don't know, I by accident just hit dive. Obviously, I did not mean to purposely do that. Uh, that was a misclick. And... God damn! Who's number 15? Who the hell's fucking faster than Kyler? I should have just passed it to Ryman, but I thought Kyler Murray was going to have the speed to cut to the outside. That's my fault for assuming that. Marvin Harrison Jr. with a very nice catch. He's able to pick up the first down for us. Good shit, Marvin. And now we got an RPO here. 
to Jones or either hand it off to Benson. I think I'm going to like this RPO. I am. And we got two blockers too. Come on, guys. Block for us. Zay Jones tried to cut inside. I probably cut inside a little bit too late there. But we still pick up 10 yards on the play. And now here we are. First and 10. Trey McBride has wide open potential here. And he is going to get it, dude. Trey McBride has been a beat. Or fucking... I might have to talk to Tommy about lowering injuries. Like, this is fucking brutal. This is fucking brutal, man. This is just... Oh my god, and my center fucking is terrible. What the fuck? I hiked the ball and my center just gets bitched. We need interior offensive line so bad. I am outbidding Tom... Because I know Tommy said he needs offensive line help too. I am fucking outbidding him so bad if there's a good center and free oh my god go benson benson with a huge run and in five runs benson has 52 yards feed benson we're just gonna do what's smart here and just hand the ball off to benson dude holy shit benson finds another hole this vikings run defense is terrible terrible run defense from vi from the vikings here this is what i should have been doing all along is just handing the ball off to benson here hopefully my center goes and blocks the linebacker there he does Benson only picks up three yards on that rush, but still a good run from Benson. And now I could run the ball here. It's either me run the ball or hand it off or toss it to Zay Jones underneath. We will just toss it to Zay Jones here. Jones is able to get in for a touchdown. Really nice touchdown there from Zay Jones. I will say when Marvin Harrison Jr. does get hurt, Zay Jones does step up and, and he could be a quality number one. Not on my team, because when you got a guy like Marvin Harrison Jr., Zay Jones is a number two. Marvin Harrison Jr. is just better. But Zay Jones does step up when he needs to and makes big plays when he's forced into the number one role because Marvin Harrison Jr. keeps on getting fucking hurt. Now, here we are up 14 to 7. Oh, God. Well, that was fucking short-lived, huh? Vikings tie it, returning the PAT, or the kickoff. So that's the first kickoff returned on me. I've returned one kickoff now, and now I've had one kickoff returned on me. So it is even in terms of kickoffs. And I'm not able to return my own. In fact, we get smoked at the 27. And now, Trey Benson, seven rushes for 70 yards. What a beast Trey Benson is, man. If Trey Benson keeps this up, he's on pace for his second 100-yard rushing game. Now, first and 10, I'm going to be looking for probably Greg Dorchich here underneath. I'm just going to get sacked. Kyler Murray just gets smoked. I've been sacked five times. Okay, so... Just apparently attack my left guard and my center, man. That's just... That's just the fucking play. Um, So, probably making a mistake here. Actually trying to pick up something on this play. But we will see what happens here. And Kyler Murray is just going to scramble. Pick up a couple of yards. And now we have to punt the ball to the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, great. Punt fucking Ginkle. Um, the Vikings are going to have excellent position. They're going to be starting on their own 36. And now I need my defense to make a clutch stop here. Whenever I need my defense to step up, they always do. Let's see if my defense can step up again. Aaron Jones picks up a five-yard rush. And is that going to send us to the end of the third period? Well, they might get a playoff here. Let's see if they hike, if they hike it and get a playoff. Nope. Okay. Now, here we are, second and five. We have two plays to prevent the Minnesota Vikings from picking up five yards. I think we're going to stop them this play, and then they're going to pick it up on third down. Or the rookie corner, Jones, is going to be the GOAT and get his second interception. Jones in the slot gets his second pick of the game, and it comes at a massive time. 
Dude, JJ McCarthy with two terrible passes and Jones just keeps finding himself in the right place at the right time. You can literally hear the boos screaming down from the Minnesota Vikings stands. And now we will hand the ball off to Trey Benson. Even though the Minnesota Vikings apparently have the best fucking pass defense in the league, their run defense is terrible. Trey Benson has literally been doing what ever he wants to do to the Minnesota Vikings. And I can't believe I'm running four verts because I am literally asking for them to sack me. All right, come on, Benson, keep running. Thank you, Benson. Go to just step out of bounds. Don't get hit, buddy. Okay. Now, Trey Benson is literally putting his t the team on his back this game. A rookie is having to do it all because of injury and the offensive line being the worst fucking most atrocious offensive line known to man. And now Michael Wilson gets the RPO and he picks up seven yards. And now Trey Benson will get the handoff on this play, second and three. I'm thinking that Trey Benson picks up a first down. Oh, the Vikings are sending a full-on blitz. Benson's gonna get a touchdown! 13-yard run running touchdown pass. Rawr, bra, bra, bra. Sorry, I got so excited there. I fumbled my words. Troy Benson with a 13-yard rushing touchdown, baby. Benson is doing anything he wants to this Minnesota Vikings defense. So we can't pass for shit. We've literally gotten sacked, what, seven times? Worst, pa uh, worst fucking pass defense known to man. But running the ball has been working in spades for us. And now I swear to God, if they return another fucking kickoff, thank God. Thank God. And now J.J. McCarthy has to trap back off on the field after throwing two terrible interceptions. Literally has just gifted my rookie corner, my other rookie corner, with two, because uh, we got two rookie corners here. I'll have to look at when Elijah Jones was drafted. I know Max Melton was a second round pick. I wonder when Jones was. And that was actually a really good run there from Aaron Jones. I wonder if they're going to hand the ball off to him again. They could, typically when you motion the... Yeah, typically when you motion the, t motion the tight end like that, it means run play. Cardinals season ranking number one in takeaways. We got two turnovers last week. Again, another game with two turnovers, two interceptions to be precise. We do have a couple of fumbles. We have two fumbles on the season. At least we have two fumble recoveries. I don't know if we have a couple of actual like fumbles that we've gotten. And our run defense continues to be legit. Aaron Jones has now run the ball twice in back-to-back -back plays and has only picked up a total of five yards. And now here we are, third and five. If the Vikings don't get this, surely they're going for it. And damn, dude, I just... That was just a great fucking play. They just threw it right where my zone wasn't. The Vikings have been seeming to do that a lot this game. Just having a guy just happen to find exactly where my zone is not. And let's see what happens this play. Oh, they hand the ball off? They throw it? What the fuck? 14, 14, 64 touchdown. What the fuck was that graphic? I have no clue what that graphic was trying to tell me there. Um, Something. That's all I know. And fucking what a bullshit animation there for Aaron Jones. What a bullshit animation for Aaron Jones there. He was fucking sacked and just somehow got out of it. And now here we are at the two minute warning. We're up 21 to 14. But the Minnesota Vikings are currently driving. They have a second and three. And this play screams to me either touchdown or... Oh my god, JJ McCarthy gets hit as he throws. And we hit him. And now here we are. Do we blitz? We could blitz, but JJ McCarthy... Oh, I don't, I don't actually like this coverage. I think I'm going to call a timeout. Because going five wide there and us blitzing just lets JJ McCarthy. Oh my God! I didn't. Pick, I didn't. I don't. I don't know what play I picked. I don't know what play I picked. I just. Oh my God! And we just might be fucked here. Oh my God! I don't. I was just spamming a. I don't know what play I picked. The Minnesota Vikings now literally have the ball in the fucking one yard line. They're. Wait, what? Oh my God. And they throw it to Justin Jefferson for a touchdown. Vikings just kind of marched down the field there and scored a touchdown, didn't they? And now, Benson, we're going to need a legit drive from you here, man. Benson is going to need to put the team on his back. I like the four-yard run there. I thought that that was good. What the fuck is going on in my game right now? My game is just being super fucking weird. And I, I don't get it. Benson, come on, pick up the first down, man. Fuck. Fuck. Third and one for Benson. 
Do I risk passing? I don't think I do. I think I run the ball again with Benson here on this play. My game's just... Like, I can't see the first down line. Like, my game's just being very glitchy right now. Like, I don't know what's going on. I do know we just pick up the first down with Benson, at least. I also just fucking... Like, look at this. I, I don't even get to see my plays right now. Is this, like, the Viking Stadium pulse, actually? Like, that would make sense. Does the Viking... Is the Viking Stadium pulse just blocking me from seeing plays? Oh, my God, Benson. Oh, my God, Benson. Fucking call game here. Step out of bounds. And now we're on the 32-yard line. Benson is just tearing up a storm right now. We're going to continue to run down their throats with Benson. They can't fucking stop it. And we'll see if the Minnesota Vikings start calling timeouts here. Oh, good shit, Benson. Oh, no, if that's fucking Benson that got hurt. Someone on my team just got hurt, and I don't know who it is. Is that Benson? Okay. Well... Second and two now. Third string running back, Michael Carter is in. And Michael Carter picks up a ton of yards. And now, we aren't going to fucking risk it. We'll just run it again with Michael Carter here. Just try to get as close as possible for a fucking chip shot field goal here. I mean, scoring a touchdown is even better. I actually... Fuck, I didn't actually want to score a touchdown there with 31 seconds. Like, I'm glad we got a touchdown, don't get me wrong, but... Now the Vikings have 31 seconds and two timeouts to score. I would have preferred just to get down to like the three or two yard line, take a knee and kick a chip shot field goal. But you know what? Maybe it'll all work out. Maybe it'll, maybe it will all work out. Oh, the Vikings have already returned a, a, a kick on us. So, okay, that's good. The Vikings have 27 seconds to score a touchdown. 27 seconds and two timeouts here. So you know what? Maybe it works out. Maybe we just get a bonus touchdown out of it. We will see what happens. The Vikings, they have time. Fuck! Don't you dare let TJ Hawkinson get out of bounds. The Vikings are already on the fucking 50-yard line in seven seconds. Good God. Dude, the Vikings have just been able to fucking carve up my offense. Come on, check it down, bitch. Sit down, Jones. Massive fucking hit stick from Zay Collins. He lets out some frustration there. Don't let Kaiser White be offsides. I don't even know what the fuck's going on here. I just know that if Justin... Uh, please. I thought Max Melton should have had a pick there. I thought Max Melton should have had a pick, but you know what? I fucking won't say anything. And now, here we are. Third and seven with 12 seconds left. I'm just fucking going back here with Zay Collins. I'm not trying to let any fuck... Hey, Melton, 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 Melton. Intercept the football, Melton. What the fuck are you doing? And now the Vikings have to go for a Hail Mary here. If they somehow get a touchdown on 4th and 7 on a Hail Mary, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. And I swear to God. I swear to God if they come up with this. Thank God. I, number 0 just batted that away. Sean Murphy bunting. What a bat. And we win 28-21. to 21. That game got very scary there. We lost a lot of players. We lost Marvin Harrison Jr. And we lost fucking Trey Benson there towards the end. That was really appealing. JJ McCarthy had a good game besides his two interceptions. Me with Kyler Murray, I had my two two touchdowns. And M M Murray threw that one interception himself. That was not me with that interception. Um, Aaron Jones had 57 rushing yards on me. The Vikings actually had a good rushing game against me. Troy Benson, 14 carries, 141 yards, and one touchdown. Troy Benson had the best game so far of his career. These rushing stats should also go to him, but he got hurt. Troy Benson continuing to show us why he is the running back of the future here in Arizona. Marvin Harrison Jr., three catches for 42 yards. He was doing great before he got hurt. He also, how many receptions did I even have? Nine for 12. You want to know why? Oh, it doesn't. Let me let me see these fucking sacks here. Yeah, three sacks for Isaiah. Dude, we need fucking offensive line help so damn bad. Okay, thankfully all of the injuries we've suffered, none of them were long-term injuries. Dallas Turner was a force on defense in Arizona today. Three sacks for Dallas Turner. You know what? Good for you, Dallas Turner. We won. You know, that's something, right? Jesus Christ, look at J.J. McCarthy's stats there. That's ridiculous. We ended up winning the game. I mean, we're 12-0 and 0 now. I would say that is incredibly impressive. And if you look at our schedule here, 
I mean, a lot of these wins we're getting are close wins, though. Back-to-back -back weeks where we won by seven points. The Bears, we won by seven. How many one-score games do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven out of our 12 wins have been one-score games here. And now, with only five weeks left, we get to play the Seattle Seahawks again, who we just beat. We play Tommy, and then we play at Panthers, at Rams, and then we're home against the 49ers. So... You know, that game against Tommy is hands down going to be the hardest game of the entire season. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please leave comments down below on how I can improve the series for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.